Hey, it's Barry, and I know many fans are excited to get their hands on the PS5 Pro on November 7th when it is revealed to be dropping. Of course, it's still number one on Amazon, most consoles sold for the month of October, and also in seven other countries. It's going crazy right now. Backlash didn't seem to harm Sony all too much. Well, revenue-wise, a lot of people online are naysayers, haters, non-believers, underachievers, uh, smoking weeders. A serious note, we got PlayStation's new PSSR AI upscaling looks set to compete with NVIDIA's DLSS, while AMD falls behind yet again. A few people that don't know what PSSR is, it's just an AI upscaling method that's built into the PS5 Pro, and it actually appears to defeat AMD FSR 3.1, running much closer to NVIDIA's DLSS or maybe on par. Uh, this is perhaps giving gamers another reason to purchase Sony's enhanced console because after its reveal during a presentation by PlayStation lead designer Mark Cerny, reception towards the PS5 Pro was somewhat negative, largely due to its pricing. It was priced pretty comparable to a pre-built gaming PC. The main differences between the upcoming console and its base model are PSSR, 28% faster RAM, and a claim of 67% more compute units for better performance. All the while, it's still using the same internal CPU as on the PS5. All the scrutiny aside, the PSSR AI upscaling method may easily become the main talking point because a hands-on experience from Digital Foundry proves that PSSR at performance mode is much clearer and detailed in comparison to FSR 3.1 in performance mode while playing Insomniac's game Ratchet & Clank rifts apart. Of course, what does this mean for AMD? Well, while the PS5 Pro's PSSR may be a convincing and drastic step in the right direction for Sony, especially for many gamers to run at a smooth 60 FPS, uh, they still wouldn't justify the $699 price tag for many gamers. And other than recent reveal of Sucker Punch's Ghost of Yotai, Bungie's Marathon, and Insomniac's Wolverine, and other timed exclusives, there aren't many other exclusive first party titles coming to the platform in 2025 that we know of presently. But a key pull factor could still help the PS5 Pro. A plethora of PlayStation exclusives are also making its way over to PC, some of which will launch simultaneously on PS5, such as the aforementioned Marathon, kind of further supports the idea of opting for a pre-built system over Sony's updated console. And while GTA 6 won't be coming to PC until some time after its launch, there is still no current guarantee that the PS5 Pro will provide 60 frames per second However, a leak did show that a lead director over at GTA, uh, Rockstar actually confirmed that it would be running at 60 FPS, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but of course, we'll have to also wait and see how impactful AMD's newfound focus on AI for FSR 4 will be. It's claimed that battery life and performance for gaming handhelds will see a big improvement using the Ryzen Z2 Extreme APU, which is hopefully a sign of better things to come in 2025. And of course, this is uh, crazy news, PSSR is closer to Nvidia absolutely smokes AMD FSR 3.1. It does seem that PSSR and the PS5 Pro has the better alternative for AI upscaling when it comes to video games and in the console space I know many people are probably going to be grateful for that. Now that you're all caught up on the PS5 Pro and PSSR, click this video on the screen to find out how Activision is obsessed with DEI.